Good morning from Lake Cumberland. It's August the 4th. Very overcast, cloudy. We just finished breakfast. It was a free continental breakfast, Monday through Friday for the guest. And they had gravy biscuits, sausage, eggs. They had waffles, cereal, oatmeal, <clears throat> fruit, and danishes. Orange juice and milk. Yep. And to drink, they had the orange juice, milk, coffee, water, and maybe something else. Yogurt too. Oh, they had yogurt too. Daryl, thanks. So it is 7.30 here, Central Time. So we're going to be heading out shortly. <clears throat> Hello there. <laughs> All right, let's talk about some of the memories from If yesterday. I had a rocking chair, I could rock. You could. It won't rock. These are just station, four legged chairs. Okay. I'm sorry. Go ahead. <clears throat> That's okay. Um, what did we, what are some of our memories from yesterday? What were some things that you saw in abundance of you think? I've seen several typewriters. We normally pick out one thing each year that we see more of, that we notice more of. It's probably true. We notice. We it. we pick out a certain thing and we look for that. So we've seen uh, five or six. Yeah, at least. seen two at that one place, <clears throat> the last place we stopped there. Right. right. I saw a lot of baseball gloves. I saw a lot of globes. And the baseball gloves typically were kid baseball gloves. I've always seen one globe. You've seen several. Oh my huh? goodness, I did see a okay. lot more. Yeah. You lot. was looking for them and I wasn't. So. <clears throat> True. After I saw a couple, I thought I'm going to start looking. And because we have grandkids, I noticed the toys a little more right. this time too than previous years. Um, what was some interesting conversations you had with any of the vendors or other shoppers. Oh, the lady that owns the, the property where the big one is in the field. That hill. Yeah. And the two barns at the top. She she was in the barn. I, <clears throat> I had a feeling that, that she owned the place and I asked her if she owned where this is at. She said, yeah. She said, I said, well, you have a good turnout every year. She said, yeah, there'd be more come in tomorrow because the rain's kept them away today. So it rained all day. On Thursday. Yes. And I remember seeing Russell Springs, this little girl walking with this little house thing in her hands. Yeah. She was clutching it and she was two years old, I found out later. But uh, they paid a dollar for that and she was so excited about her little house. I had a big old smile on her face when I asked her about it. She was only two. <clears throat> she was only two. Wow. Yeah. And a side note, when we were eating at Bread of Life, um, we had to wait. They said it was 45 minutes. It ended up being 30 minutes. <clears throat> but uh, apparently there was this uh, father and daughter over on our right hand side. And uh, we went to get our seat. And then they came in shortly after and she got up and she came over and she said are you Rita and I said yes and I said did we go to school together <laughs> and she said no she'd gone to school with one of my sisters and her and her dad were out doing the highway 127 yard sale and that was her first time for eating at the bread of life but he had been there before so they weren't sure if they were going to continue on today during the Highway 127, but I thought that was neat that she had taken her dad out and we got our picture together and I sent it to my family and then <clears throat> she took a picture and sent it to her family so that uh, they could have that memory of, she, she was brave enough to say, are you Rita? Because she was afraid that if she was wrong, she'd be embarrassed if anybody would be, but uh, it was Rita. <laughs> so. Uh, Today we're going to head down toward, we're going to head south, 
and we might make it as far as Crossville, Tennessee. Um, just depends on the weather, the traffic, how many yard sales we find along the way. So it's going to be clear today. <clears throat> Good. Still a little overcast, but no, no, no rain. So, so you ready to start day two? I'm ready. Okay. Okay, we turned going toward Albany there's a little short road here and usually lots of yard sales and vendors in this stretch as you can see quite a few people are stopping the yards are full there's even a little kayak service back there to the left by the hotel yeah, I'm trying to find a place to pull in. It's like parked across the road. Maybe there's some up here, maybe. Yeah. stop on the way back through and I got a feeling we're going to turn right and go to Albany so that Daryl can get him a cup of coffee I can't sound clear. oh I'm in the way I was hoping there was nobody over there he couldn't see out the side mirror over the passenger door but we're on the way to get a cup of coffee for Daryl at McDonald's I presume and here's the golden arches for the delicious cup of coffee. Don't know if it's going to be a senior coffee or a medium coffee. It's going to be a long wait probably. Looks like it. Yep. Okay, we've entered Tennessee and Alvin C. York I think is 10-11 miles from here and that's one of our favorite places to stop at that park and as you can see the clouds are still plentiful overcast is, is the big the old store before Alvin York yep okay. down on the left there's a little general store that um, Forbes in it or something. Forbes. I think it is called Forbes or Forbes, yes. And we like to stop there too. Here we are at Forbes General Store in Tennessee. One of the booths here. Some cool looking leads. These two here are, on the left are $60. Feed sacks. I, I was going to look at the feed sacks, yeah. I'm not sure how much the price is. But there's a, another tent set up over there. tent over on the other side of the building. We've stopped here the last couple years. This would be year three. 
and they always have quite a selection of stuff. This year it's divided up to tools under the tent and home goods over here under the trees. Next stop. Just a lot of treasures. Planters. Some toys, roller blades. Well, now we're entering Paul Mall, unincorporated. Home of Sergeant Alvin, did it say J? York. I think it said J, yeah. J or C or something. And they have a, a, a creek. Is there like a, a water mill down here at the building yeah, also? At the park, grist mill. And Maybe four years ago, five years ago, the yard sale was set up on the right hand side of the road where the park is and the fire department. And then they stopped Alvin doing it C. on the right, Alvin C. York instead of J. And then they started setting up on the left. And then a few people started coming back at the fire department and setting up there's parking at the fire department, parking at the park. There's clean restrooms here also. So, here we are. All right, we're in Palmall at the Alvin C. York Park and Fire Department area. I'm getting ready to cross the road to see what treasures they have over there. It's a hallmark keepsake ornaments. The sun says they're three dollars each. Coming up on the south side of Jamestown, Tennessee, we took the bypass road instead of going through town. Used to be lots over here on the right, but they've turned it into a nursery. Yeah. And I lots can't, can't of tents see. on the left. I can't see. There's a hotel down here on the right that we like to stop at. And neither one of us could remember the name of the hotel. But when we get around the corner or so, we will see it. As you can 
see there's a lot right here. I got trucks going every day in there. Yes, you can. You can park like that. I see the motel sign. Can you make out the name of it yet, Daryl? and lots of tents. A wall of radios. Well, we made it to AZ Custom Signs, Antiques, and Collectibles. The tractor there is $2,200. All right, on my way in. I think that steam engine or whatever that is back there, it says $6,900 on it. We're in Clark Range, Tennessee. And this is just one aisle of vendors and booths. Six hundred and fifty for the Dr. Pepper bottle cap. Three sixty-five for that Coke one. Cheap Dr. Pepper plastic. One hundred seventy. One hundred seventy-five. And this one is seventeen fifty for the Coke. Nine fifty for the Coke. Three seventy-five for the Dr. Pepper. Seventy-five, three ninety. This booth appears to be very, very large.
getting closer and closer to Crossville and here's another closer we get to busier the traffic is another field with a bunch of tents in it and traffic is definitely slow we're just north of Crossville and see a few tents over here We got a few more miles to cross I see it up there. Looks like a busier place. Okay, time to fill up with gas. We're just north of Crossville. And it looks like it's 331 for unleaded. And they have a this is a circle K and they have a Dunkin' Donut. Here also. this shed with all the booths that are in there. Mm. Dozen booths or so. I think we're back in Jamestown and we didn't stop earlier at the Jordan Motel because the traffic or the, because of the parking so the Jordan Motel is up here I think on the left yeah we parked in the median last year I'm thinking I think it's right there on the left. Alrighty. I made it we're to parking. Quick. Okay, so we're at the Jordan Motel area. stuff. Seen quite a bit of that. And the Colonel Sanders there. Finished up the Tennessee side, heading back into Kentucky on 127. Uh, next stop or next town is Albany. Here we are just north of Albany on this stretch of 127 just for a little while. And there's tents and booths on the left side and many over on the right side and then there's even the homes up here 
They too um, have yard sales set up in the yards. Can't do them all. Yeah, we can't do them all and we're just too tired to stop. Plus we stopped at a barbecue place in Albany called Hunter's Hickory Smoked Barbecue. They're only open Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday because they do catering. This lady wants to stop so bad. Does she? Yeah, look how slow she's going. Looking for a parking space. She's still looking. Here's one on the right. She just don't, she's just looking, I guess. She don't realize she's holding up about a half a mile of traffic down this slope. There's a deer, two deer. Both have racks. Yeah. So, today is August the 4th, it is 6.10 Central Time here, and I just got in from a two mile run walk down past the pool and back, and it's time to recap our day. So. We started with our continental breakfast here at the lodge, which was gravy, biscuits, sausage egg, juice, pretty good. Milk. Milk, they had waffles, but yogurt. we didn't have any waffles. They had yogurt and cereal. and cereal, yes. So that's a Monday through Friday thing they're doing right now. And for the, those that stay, Lake Cumberland and my glasses are fogging up. So we took off and went to went south, went all the way to Crossville, Tennessee, and then turned around. So Daryl, what was your favorite part today? Uh, probably where I bought the TVs. Yeah. He bought some TVs at A to Z in Clark Range, Tennessee, right? Yeah. Same place we stopped last year. I bought a couple from him then. Bought a couple more this year. Yeah. So, that was a good thing. We found a, a little plastic John Deere trailer that we got for our grandkids to put behind the John Deere tractor that we already had at home that used to belong to our son. So that was a good one. The weather was good today. Well, 66 Mustang instrument cluster at the same place when we got John Deere. Yeah, and that was at Paul Mall, uh, the Alvin C. York State Park area. And um, all in all, it was a good day. Glad to be back. Oh, we had um, our lunch was a ribeye sandwich from a, it was one of the places that yeah, we stopped. One of the, one of the big, big 
big yard sale places. Yeah, one of the big places that we stopped. Or... And uh, for supper, we stopped in Albany at, what was the name of that place? Hunter's. Hunter's Barbecue. And the Hickory Smoke Barbecue or something like that. And they're only open on Wednesday, Thursdays, and Fridays. And they do catering also. And we got the brisket sandwich and then brought it back here to eat. And then I went for my run walk. <clears throat> and it's about time for me to get in the shower. We're about done for the day. Yeah. yeah. We didn't stop at as many places as we would have liked to because we were just tired. Do you think that has something to do with age? Uh, it's got a lot to do with age. <laughs> yeah, we didn't get back here until 6.30, 6.20 or so, 6.15. Yeah, so. um, like 5.20 their time here, 6.20 our time. It was a full day. Yeah. So, hopefully we'll sleep well tonight and we'll get up and head north tomorrow. So, talk to you then. Good night.